Hello, my name is Dwayne Roebuck. I'm the IoT and WLAN Business Development Manager here at Blue Star. I'm here today to demonstrate how easy it is to set up and configure Zebra's Wing Express access points. For those unaware, Wing Express is Zebra's solution for small to mid-sized businesses that have either a limited IT team or no IT team at all. The hardware is the same as Wing Enterprise. There are some differences, however, in the two. Use of the CLI is not supported on Wing Express. There is a simplified GUI user interface, and Wing Express maxes out at 1,024 access points. For today's demonstration, I'll be using an AP7522E with an internal antenna. This is one of Zebra's newer Wave 1 802.11ac access points. One of the great things about this particular access point is that one access point can act as a virtual controller controlling up to 64 APs without the need to introduce a true controller. That means there's no need to introduce a controller into your space until you get to the 65th access point. This access point is also uh, PoE, so you can power it either with a power switch or by purchasing the power adapter. That makes this an ideal solution for small to mid-sized retailers, manufacturing and warehousing, hospitality, as well as small doctor's offices and urgent care facilities, just to name a few. So we're going to plug this up and let's get started. So uh, the first thing you're going to want to do once you've uh, got your access point power is you're going to want to go up and uh, make sure you're connected to uh, the SSID Wing Express. In this instance, we are. So next you'll type in express.zebra.com. Now, you'll be prompted to uh, admin screen. By default, the username is admin and the password is admin123. So you click on that and it immediately asks you for uh, security purposes to change uh, the, the administrative password, which for the purposes of this, we'll use testing and confirm that. Now when you come in, you click basic, which will uh, um, show you the uh, access point name. Any of this you can change. You'll see uh, on this particular one, since it's been configured before, it's already marked United States, but the first thing you're going to want to do is put in the, the country name of where it will be going. You also have virtual controller, which you would check this if you're using multiple access points that are going to be controlled by one particular AP. So the model that we chose, the AP7522E with internal antenna, it can actually control up to 64 access points before you need to introduce a new controller. So typically what I do is I go in and uh, the next thing I do is I set up an NTP server and the one I like to use is uh, 24.56.178.140. So that'll help you with uh, your uh, time functionality. And click apply. And it's going to take a few minutes for the, uh, the NTP server to connect and time to be adopted. So while we're doing that, we'll go into uh, wireless and you'll see right now the only uh, name on there is Wing Express which you uh, which is in there by default so you want to click add and then you'll choose the n name so for this one I'm going to use testing again I'm going to click enable to make it active and then choose uh, SSID which I'll make testing and again you can choose whatever you want so next you move down to security so for on this one, I'm going to do um, secure PSK. Then you would choose which bands you want it to operate off of, uh, 2.4 or 5 gigahertz or both. So I'm going to click on both. And then for encryption, I'm going to use WPA2. And we're going to set up the encryption key as testing 
one, two, three. Now again, I would not recommend using that, you know, the same key that's tied in with the SSID name, but you know, that's uh, up to you. So you click apply and then let's go back to basic. So from that point, you're going to get kicked off of uh, Wing Express. So you're going to go to uh, the testing SSID, which I'm using right there. It's going to ask me for my password, which was testing123. Click join. And it may be a little different depending on uh, what type of computer you're using. I'm using a uh, MacBook Pro. So you can click on wireless and now you see uh, the testing access point uh, check marked by the 2.4 and 5 gigahertz band. So this access point is essentially set up, ready to go, ready to be deployed and um, you can uh, now get internet connectivity. There you go. So you see just how easy uh, Wing Express Access Point is to configure and to deploy. It's literally within minutes. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to uh, reach out to me. Thank you and uh, have a great day.